what is going on everybody my name is Kurikane and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's story we have a super easy, super simple, flush 3x3 door. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight to the materials. The materials you'll need are some solid blocks, 27 obsidian, 5 slime blocks, 4 honey blocks, or you can have 4 slime and 5 honey, it doesn't really matter, 8 sticky pistons, 2 blocks of redstone, 8 redstone repeaters, at the bare minimum, 24 redstone dust, you'll probably want more, and then your two levers. So first, build up your door as a reference. As you can see, I built my 3x3 door. You're going to go behind it. Then once you're behind it, you're going to dig out three blocks below and place those three with obsidian. Then on the three behind that, you're going to replace those with three obsidian. Then you're going to go to the left two, place those with obsidian. Then the right two, and replace those with obsidian. Now you can break down your door if you like. Let me put an outline of where my door will be. So in this ring is where my door should be flush. At the end of the obsidian, we're going to place one sticky piston facing in. Obsidian block on top. Then another sticky piston facing in on top of that. Go to the other side. One sticky piston facing in. Seeing block on top of that. Another sticky piston facing in on top. So it doesn't matter what side you're doing slime or honey. Just one side has to be a she-shape. And the other one has to be like a sideways T. Whatever you want to call it. So one side you're going to do a T-shape like this. Like so. Then the other side you're going to do sideways T. It looked like this. Now you're going to place your door blocks on the honey and slime blocks. Like so. So now here and here we need to get sticky pistons facing in to push it flush into the wall. So it should be pretty easy to get the honey one or the T-shaped one. And you see it did it like that. But the C-shaped one, you may need to break some blocks real quick, you know, place it in and then replace it. Now we're looking like this. Now on each side into the bottom piece, we're going to place two repeaters on both sides. One's going to be four tick delay and the other one's going to be two. Make sure you do that on the other side. Four tick delay. One, two. Now, since this is going to be the first one to go off, it's going to push this piston forward one. That means on the slime or honey block in front, we're going to place one piece of obsidian, one below that, then a block out, and have a repeater on top of it. Do the same on the other side. Slime block next to the piston, one below, block out, repeater on top. Now you're going to have this repeater be three tick delay on both of them. Now go one block out, and then one block behind those repeaters. Redstone dust on both going all the way down. One out, one behind, redstone dust going down. Break this block, then break two down. Redstone dust here. Break this block, break two down. And on the two down, you're going to need a repeater facing into that block. Repeater facing into that block. No tick delay needed. Now we're just going to continue this hole of two down going all the way across. Then they can meet up. We're going to get a redstone dust and get it all the way down. Or connect it all the way across. You get what I mean. Now if you really want, you can test this out. And it should double extend to each other. Boom. And it should double retract. Boom. So as you can see, it should move these two sticky pistons right here. Behind this one, we're going to dig down two, and behind this one, we're going to dig down two. At the very bottom, we're going to get a sticky piston facing up on both sides. We're going to get a redstone block on top of both. Now, if we just activate those two pistons, when these reach the center, these sticky pistons will push the redstone blocks up, activating them, making them flush. Now, let's hook up these pistons. All we got to do is then just continue the tunnel, go the redstone in between, and then we can have our lever wherever we want. I'm just going to quickly bring the lever out to the front. Have my lever about there. Place all these blocks. Make sure you replace the obsidian especially. So my lever's right here. Now if we activate this, it should be a flush door. Perfect. And if we unactivate it, it should go back into each individual slot. No hiccup. Perfect. So now let's say that you want your lever somewhere else. It is super, super simple. Oops. All you have to do is connect your lever up to this redstone line. Now just know, let's say that your lever is super, super far. Like this is, this is pretty far. Let me just connect up some redstone. So as you see, this is really, really far. It doesn't reach. The redstone pulse dies out and doesn't reach the door. So if you have a really, really far lever, you're going to have to add in a repeater somewhere, so then it will work. So just keep that in mind when you're placing your lever. And then it's like you can have it on the wall. Like, let's say I have a wall right here. I have a lever. Simply just staircase it down to that exact same line. It's really, really simple. As you see, oh, once again, this is too far. So we will need to add a repeater. Now it works. Boom. If you want one on the other side, all you gotta do is hook it up to these redstone lines. Same exact thing. So let's say that I want my lever right here. We're gonna hook up the redstone dust. I see it works. Boom. Then we can go to the other side, you know, and use the other lever. Boom. Have them wherever you like. Just remember, you, if it doesn't work, use repeaters. That means the redstone line died out. Now we can just cover all of this up. But something I do recommend doing is grabbing some more obsidian, which you should have because I did add some materials. Do all the way across and then in these three and on the side of these two you're gonna place two and on the side of these two make sure you don't place obsidian right there you do not want that because it'll block off this sticky piston from moving and will not move the entire thing so make sure you don't place obsidian in those two and yeah you're just gonna fill in whatever you like any spots that you like not too difficult you can change out the floor change up the walls however you like make sure any places that slime or honey touch you obviously change those with obsidian 
But everything else, you, it's up to you. All right, something like this should work fine. As you see, boom. And then we can walk through again, boom, perfect. That is pretty much it for today's tutorial. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash like, subscribe, new, as always, post notice. If there's something that's not working, ask down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out and try and find the problem with you. Pretty much all I gotta say. See you next one. Goodbye.